Anyway, uh, Demon's Crest, are the options worth looking at? Um, I don't think so. I think they're just controls. Oh. Yeah, and whether or not your TV has mono or stereo. I guess, uh, if this was Mega Man X, I would care. Oh. Um, so, one thing we didn't get to on the Commune podcast is, uh, something I realized afterwards, that it's awful strange that the very first stage of the game has three bosses, and I was wondering, like, what were your impressions when you first encountered that? Um, I thought it sort of was meant to draw me in, like, this is a crazy go nuts game and so we have three bosses right straight in a row. Even though they're easy, they look pretty magnificent. So it sort of settles you in uh, by by the time you get to the third boss of the first level. Because you have to fight against the guy who will show up occasionally from time to time. So it gets you used to like boss type encounters real quickly? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even though they're not as frequent as they were in the first level. It's, uh... I guess it's worthwhile to note that the only time you see more bosses than the first level is in the very final level. Yeah, that's also, true. Also, uh, it is possible to die to that guy. You see my health is up here. Yeah. So, I... My first time playing, I died before I even knew how much health I had. I don't think I died. I think I was close to dying. Wario fan said he was close to dying, too. No, he didn't. He said he died multiple times. On the, uh, very first boss? Didn't he say that? I guess we'll have to go back and check. <sighs> so, your very first item in the game you just get for free. Uh, you get two life extensions from the first level. Yeah, that's... Like, one life extension would make sense in that... Yeah. You know, you want to introduce the player to the concept that they are going to get... More health. Yeah, more health over the course of the game. But... Why would they give you two health extensions in the same level? I don't know. Maybe they wanted a set number of health extensions over the course of the entire game. So they had to, like, condense two of them to the first level. Oh, wait, there were three in the first level. One of them was hidden. You had to go back and get it. Oh, yeah, that's true. Um... So, I, so I, I guess a more relevant question might be, what effect do you think that has on the player when they get to health right off the bat? Uh, first thing that comes to mind is that I guess it would be satisfying. Like, the player feels good about having already gone or made some progress on getting their health. Oh uh, yeah, this is going to be a game where I collect health and it's going to be really satisfying. Well, they won't think it like that. Well, but I... I'm always just... satisfied when I find help. No, but they'll just feel like they've accomplished quite a bit already. Even though enemies later on deal with two pieces of damage and then it's like, oh, wait, maybe this isn't so great. Maybe I should go back and find more health. Yeah, it's the trick of Ocarina of Time bosses. Um... Isn't that... Do you mean a Link to the Past? I think all the Zeldas do it. I just associate it with Ocarina not, of Time. Not after Wind Waker. Oh, really? Yeah, after Wind Waker, bosses do, like, at most one heart of damage for your attack. I appreciate that. I like that. that. That's why three heart runs are the only way to play Wind Waker, and maybe even Twilight Princess. Uh, maybe if you're a skill player. Maybe if one challenge. I guess that's what I should have said. Something I didn't realize my first playthrough is that this guy's a tutorial of... Flying? Oh, yeah, I mean, he is that, but also that to be effective in combat. What? Yeah, he turns back to a statue if it takes you long. Oh, what the? No, but he doesn't get his health back, so it's Oh, fine. okay. Um, he's a tutorial of, like, doing this. Oh. He gives you lots of chances to do that and to get anywhere with the later bosses. I feel like that's a pretty important concept. So, like,. You mean just mashing A? Can you only do it with the fireball, though? Other... Other attacks are kind of, I don't know. Well, uh, other attacks you can spawn two of at once, so it's not as important, but, um... 
your fireball moves so slowly and it does so much or so little damage that it's yeah been generally as opposed pretty to, important to as make opposed the to the ground time. attack, which is like a lot of damage if you use it on the ground. I have never gotten this guy to do this. I'm so embarrassed now. <laughs> This happened to me when I played this game today. Alright, I'm going to pause. Unpause. So, it seems like your analysis of the, uh... getting a bunch of heart containers right off the bat is like... they're coddling the player? Yeah. I think this game coddles the player a lot, actually, since there's really no consequence to dying. <laughs> Man, <laughs> you really should have been there Sunday. What? It was like the exact opposite. Like, man, what? the bosses have too much health, and it, it takes so much learning. Well, I think that the fact that the game doesn't punish you for dying lets you learn. It's not like in Mega Man where you only have a set number of lives, and you gotta, you only have a few opportunities to learn the bosses. Well, it's uh, it's worth saying that the bosses in Mega Man are a lot more predictable, and um, you don't need to do as much learning. Um, speak for yourself, but I see your point. And uh, this is a bottle I can put what in again? Um, potions. Yeah, I always forget the difference between potions and spells. They spells you you ask the guy to write on those scrolls. But they serve basically the same function, right? You know, no, don't potions, like, give you health and buffs while spells are actual, like, elemental attacks? I see. One's offensive, one's defensive. Yeah. Like, you can summon an imp. I don't, I don't, I don't know if it's the imp from Castlevania, though. I doubt it. Yeah, having a familiar is just kind of a thing I associate with Castlevania. Wait, having a familiar? Yeah, like in a Symphony of the Night. You can get a familiar imp? Probably. <laughs> uh, there's like familiars like bats. And, uh, more bats. Also, like, do you think they expected the... Like, they, uh, they made this visible on purpose, right? Yeah. So that you would know... Oh, I have to go back to this level to find that. It's yeah. Like that. Oh. Or, at least, or at least remember it. But it's also not, like, explicitly pointed out to the player. No, a lot of... A lot of the secrets aren't. You just have to know uh, which power-up to use. I think the only um, non-crest ability that you use... Uh, to get items is the one that you use on that one heart container that you showed. The, uh, Buster? Yeah, the Buster. The Mega Man? Yeah. Uh, what do you make, uh, like, I feel like a lot of bosses in this game spend a lot of time out of my range. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I think that's pretty lame. <laughs> yeah. It's also a marked difference from market contrast from uh, Gargoyle's quest, where bosses are often inside these, uh, like, square rooms, oh. and you can, like, climb around the walls as much as you please. It's actually kind of a Mega Man X effect, where you can freely use all of the space in the room. Yeah, there's really no closed areas uh, for the bosses in this game. The closest you get is, uh... It's the crawling thing. Oh, there's, okay, there's the crawling thing, there's the wolf that you get the slippy walls for. Oh, right, and the, the snail. And, uh, there's the, uh, the final boss where you get the spiked walls, and if you get out the, uh, glue shot. Do you have to get out the glue shot? Well, you can take damage. That's not how I beat it. I, I just, well, I just you... hovered in midair and hoped for the best. Yeah, you don't need to use the glue shot to clear the boss, but if you want to uh, climb up the walls, you Doesn't can. Doesn't the glue disappear, though? Yeah. So, you gotta use the glue and then, like, it's annoying. I think, I think it's just more trouble than it's worth, because to actually get the glue, 
on the wall where you need it to be, you're gonna end up being hit all the time. Uh, one thing I want to mention before I move on is that it's kind of deceptive that we got a crest and we don't know what it does, but we just saw an item we can't get. So, you know, you would think, oh, I'm gonna go back and get that item using my new power, but no, that's not the right thing to do. 